Welcome to Paris 47. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season, and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity, but I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck, 47. Hello, and welcome to Hitman Episode 1 Paris. So, when they first showed this part here in the, uh, you know, the first gameplay footage or whatever, it was, it was very impressive, but after you do it 20 times, it's not very impressive. See, two lines, you know, when you first see that, it's like, wow, that's so realistic, but... After you see it 20 times, it's like, meh. But it's still kind of cool. So, we're just gonna... We're rocking the Absolution suit. It's my favorite. Um, I'm not even sure what the Blood Money suit looks like. I forget. But uh, it'll be cool to see that, too. In the coming weeks. Hello. Good evening, sir. So, we've got Lethal Poison, Coin, and Gun. For this one, I think I'm going to drown. Um, that is Victor Novikov, head of I'm going to drown Victor, and, and I'm going to poison Dahlia. Although there are a lot of different ways you can kill people, and here's a lockpick just in case I need it. No problem. So I think first we will drown Victor. Novikov's favorite drink is a rather obscure cocktail known as a bare knuckle boxer. The recipe, however, has been misplaced in the basement. Sounds like a chance opportunity to get on Novikov's good side. Yeah, but, you know, eh, whatever, who cares? Booze is booze, right? Nah, I should really go look for it. Man pays our wages. Serves a decent drink. So we're going to take this guy's disguise here. And then we're going to mix a drink for Victor and put rat poison in it. When you put rat poison in someone's drink, they get sick and go to the washroom, and that's where we will drown him in the toilet. And sometimes it lags like that, I'm not sure why. It's It didn't do that for a long time, and recently it started doing it, and now I can't move. Okay. Just took a minute to load. It's kind of weird how it it's gotten worse. You'd think it would only improve, but it's still an amazing game all around. So now we know how to make the drink and we're gonna go get some rat poison. And conveniently, there's two rat poisons right here, which is nice, because then, just in case you need another one. Actually, I am going to use another one. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to poison Victor's bodyguard. Just get him out of the way. Nice work, 47. Time to mix up a storm.
And there's the drink all done. And we will poison it. Okay. Everything's set up now. It's a little bit of a waiting game now. And right on time. Okay. Go around this way. And the bodyguard is going to eat that. And we're just going to wait for him in the bathroom here. I could drown the bodyguard, but um, I feel like for this playthrough I'd like to play as 47 and I don't think he would kill a non-target. Just not his style. So we are just going to subdue him. And we will put him in the closet. And we will pick up his gun. And a drink so he'll be on his way soon. We'll hide with his unconscious body. Unfortunately it doesn't show his face. I think that'd be kind of funny. If he was just there sleeping. <laughs> so, just gotta be a little patient. Now I could fiber wire him. But, um... I don't know, drowning just seems more appropriate. He's right in front of the toilet, and he's not the greatest of men, so drowning him in his own vomit seems appropriate here. So that's what we're going to do. And he will be in in a couple seconds. Comes in. We'll wait a few seconds for the door to close. And we will take him down. Not the best way to go. Now we will hide his corpse. I feel bad for the bodyguard. He's got to wake up with a corpse with vomit all over him. So that's that's probably a bad experience. Okay. So now, we have the poison, and maybe we'll get rid of the guns so we can walk upstairs. So how should I go upstairs? Hmm. Um, just thinking here. Maybe the easiest would just to be climbing up the pipe. I feel like that's the way to go. So we don't need to get rid of our weapons because we will not be frisked. So if we just go this way. This pipe and there's a pipe on the opposite side of the building to the right are very convenient because you can get to any floor without risk of being caught, which is nice. So, you'd think that these people would be a little bit... Actually, instead of just hopping up there and drawing a little bit of attention, maybe I'll just I'll climb around. Oh no, I just realized that these guards might notice me up here because I'm wearing a a first floor uh, waiter's disguise and there see there's the uh, second floor waiter disguise maybe I can take him down and um, have his disguise we'll see where he goes So if we go over here and just get out of the way a bit, perhaps he will walk back. We can subdue him, take his disguise, and get on with business. It's time to get in touch with Noel Crest. I do know this game well, but I do, do, honestly don't know all of the patterns. But it looks like he is walking back, so we will jump up here. Take him down. 
Now I can't hide his body in the closet on the other side of the room because they'll see me through the window so I am going to risk it a little bit here and I'm just going to leave him there. A little risky but you got to risk it that to be a hitman. Oh, Supermodel I was a little bit too late. But that's okay, she comes back for a drink every so often. So, I can wait. I've actually seen people poison the drink as she's drinking it. But uh, I like to play it safe. So, we're just going to do this, and we should be fine here. Very good. Okay, so now it's a matter of time before she dies. I could try to hide that body, but I don't think it will be discovered. We should be good. Move on, son. Double time. Get back to work. Okay. I think I'm going to try to get my suit back before I exit the level. Just because I find that a little more badass than probably what 47 would do. Oh, there's no rush really. We've got to wait for her to die. So I'm just going to casually walk here. Now, I think I'll go this way here. Just make sure nobody recognizes me. I should be good. Actually, this will work out great because I can use the exit in the basement. So we will just stand here and uh, wait for her to die. And then we will be on our way. Actually, I don't think there's any risk of uh, being caught, so I'll just change now. And uh, we will make our way towards the exit. This may be risky, but, um, nope, we're good. Alrighty. We'll just get over a little bit here and just gotta wait for Dahlia to drink her last drink. I don't think anybody's gonna walk over here. But I suppose if that happens, we will deal with it when it happens. This is the point where uh, 47 pulls out his tablet and plays some video games to wait. Although if this was the real 47, he would be gone by now because... He's that confident that Dahlia will, will die. I was thinking about doing the double poison by becoming Helmet Kruger and getting the cyanide from Dahlia, but uh, I thought that that's a pretty risky thing for 47 to do to become a model and then walk the runway, so this is probably more realistic of what he would do. I hope if they make another Hitman movie that it's it surpasses the first two because, in my opinion, the first one was very good. I, I don't know if I'd say very good, but it was good. It could have been better. And the second one was kind of cheese, I thought. And uh, I think they should get David Bateson, who does the voice for Hitman, and have him play 47. That would be very cool. So now we will find out what our score was. I'm not really a huge uh, going for score type of guy, guy, but uh, we did it pretty pretty silently, so we should get a fair score.
How was Moscow? Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor. Good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. So if I'm correct, it seems that that gentleman there arranged the deaths of, uh, or ordered the hit or whatever. Um, I like what they're doing with the story in this game. It's just a little bit of story and then they focus a lot on the gameplay. I think that's a good recipe. And uh, it's always interesting to see the next two or three minute cutscene for each episode. So, how'd we do? No noticed kills. Um, that must be because Dahlia died in front of people, I guess. So, you know, not too bad, four stars. I'll take it. Um, yeah, I guess 47 would be a silent assassin and nobody would even notice them dying before him leaving, so. Maybe we'll do better in Sapienza, we'll see. And, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in episode two.